You'll never guess who just showed up at my place. That android catcher from the Commonwealth. At first, I thought he was going to kill me. But it turns out he's an android himself. And he's gone rogue. I didn't believe him at first. But I'm convinced he's telling the truth. We need to find him a place to hide along the railroad. He also insists that we help him locate a trusted doctor and techie. You remind me of myself, back when I was a young adventurer. We don't do that anymore. Well, not until the heat dies down. For now, the railroad is shut down. Used to help them escape from the Commonwealth. Find them places to lay low. The last one was someone real important. They are still looking for him. Go make a name for yourself. jockeys can assist me. For the most advanced scientific center in the capital wasteland, I find your... Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? How amusing. You've mistaken my metaphor for derogatory remark. I need a local, you see, someone with verve. I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm, how do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. 
Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Maybe, maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him... I want him. End of story. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? This particular android, designation A321, is uh, different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however, but the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Ah, you've managed to sniff the trail. Good job. Keep me informed on your progress. Well, why are you still standing there? Hmm, that's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. 
This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was, there was an android, escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Like I said, it's a hoax. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. Take care of yourself. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. The androids decided on extreme measures. He knows all the techniques of the retrieval trade and is afraid facial reconstruction isn't enough. He wants his memories erased and replaced with new ones. I don't know how that's going to work. Start asking around for trustworthy tech heads. We need to find something called a circuit neuralizer and a person who knows how to use one. Also, we have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. Now we need to find a doctor able and willing to perform hey, the yeah. facial reconstruction. We need to hurry. They've come very close to discovering the railroad. You here to buy or you came back? Do you need something? They were looking for a tech wizard a while back. Someone who could fiddle with the android's memories. But you'd better stop poking around. Those Commonwealth hunters are still out there tracking him down. We shut down the railroad for safety. Come back soon, please. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions, no more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their Commonwealth imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Of course, if you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yes, if we are able, but there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. 
our android brethren have only us. Tell you what, you deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. You know what you need to do. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. May St. Monica bless you. To Pinkerton at Rivet City. He doesn't remember his old life, and now he can't be forced to betray us. The Lord will protect us, but just to be safe, we've shut down the railroad. Agents of the Commonwealth are still looking for him. St. Monica bless you. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already! What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. You're damn right she's a bitch. Ruined my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit... inhospitable. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Ha! <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. 
I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Don't let your guard down. My designation is A3 dash. My designation is A3 dash 21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? That's what my wife said, right before she left to go live with her mother. What's the problem? What? My wife disappeared while I was in a coma. The only good memories I have are of her. The rest are... Trust me, those are as real as they come. But I'm not here to talk about my private life. You're starting to piss me off. Did Zimmer put you up to this? You have exactly five seconds to explain what it is you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by way of the nearest porthole. Truth. If there's one thing I've learned, it's this. There is no such thing as THE truth. Just the appearance of truth. And for anyone to try to sell their version of the truth, they need evidence. You have no evidence for your ridiculous claims, so I have no more time to waste talking with you. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Ah! My God. I... I remember. I remember it all. From before. Zimmer. The Commonwealth. The Institute. My God! 
All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Thank you. I'm really not sure how people would react if they found out I'm, you know, not entirely human. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Best weapon I've ever had. And I've had it forever. I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends, all right? I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids, they'd fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas, but then I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. Carry on, then. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Hello! The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? What? Let me see that. This is a neuroservo, unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen, out here in this, this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Stay out of my way, or you'll regret it. That sounds a bit like a threat. I'm sure I'm just misunderstanding you, though. Threats aren't advisable for someone in your position. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I hate to break it to you, but your courser wasn't all that tough. Hmm. Then it's likely the unit was defective. It's rare, but faults can occur from time to time. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. 
In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. I have a proposal for you. I want to frame Justin Ao. Look, ever since Dr. Zimmer left, he's been out of control. He and his coursers have been pushing people around and threatening them to get what he wants. When he came after my dad, that was the last straw. Would that really solve anything? Who would take Justin's place if he were gone? Alana Secord. She's honest, fair, and good at what she does. She'll make a great acting director for the SRB. If he's as bad as you say, then he needs to go. I know just what to do. Go to Justin's quarters and disable the security safeguards on his private terminal. I'll remotely plant evidence on it that'll make it look like he's the one helping the synths. Then it's bye-bye Justin Ao.